Treasure hunters are back with new rewards, Bethesda did an oopsie again with login issues and refrigerators got buffed, surprisingly. It's news time. Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. I'm back for another round of news and oh boy, I do have some juicy stuff to talk about today, starting with more login issues which happened just a few hours ago. The enemy spawn bug is still around to upset players and the same can be said about the ongoing power armor issues. The heavy gun sound bug is not doing any justice to 76 right now either, let me tell you that much. Well, at least the Barclay Shack got fixed and refrigerator got buffed quite a lot actually. Let's not forget about treasure hunters and the new batch of fresh rewards. Alright then, enough intro here, let's jump right into the details. Let's do this. Because breaking news should come first, here we go. For starters, there was no Inside the Vault article this week, no official news from the Vault, but hold on. A few hours ago, players lost access to Fallout 76, live players got kicked from servers, and players attempting to log in would just get this strange new error with fail to download config from title storage. If you clicked retry, the game would ask you to manually log in. I tried a few times with my alt here and it still didn't let me connect to any server. However, it would display this sort of black screen with the lower in-game interface. If I click the map key, it would also display the in-game map with no marked locations. It's a pretty... what the guacamole is that bug? Nobody knows. Anyway, I posted this on my Twitter and soon after lots of you guys said you were experiencing the same, regardless of your platform of choice. Nobody was able to log in for a while, Reddit got on fire, as to be expected, with stacks of posts about this, and Bethesda decided to make an announcement informing players they were investigating the issue. It didn't take them long to take the servers down and issue a forced maintenance to resolve whatever was causing the login error. It took them around one hour in total to get everything resolved and restore access to the game. Now, it's not clear why the login stopped working so suddenly on a Thursday when we sometimes get patches and after Bethesda said they were going to release a hotfix in a couple of days for the mannequin's corrupted data issue. It could be that something went terribly wrong while trying to release a new hotfix or maybe they were experimenting with a bug fix of some sorts and broke something else in the process. In fact, I think they were not aware the problem was a general thing at first because soon after I posted the error on my Twitter Twitter, but as the support sent me a direct message asking me for my user ID in hopes they could help me. They clearly thought the problem was on the user's end when it all started, but clearly it was much bigger than just a few isolated cases. To be fair with you, the cause of this could be linked to a lot of things, so it's best to keep moving here. Alright, now let's talk about something positive. It's more like a stealthy change live with patch 26 that nobody noticed until a few days ago. Yeah, but as the buffed refrigerator items by 10 times more. It's actually insane and I'm wondering if this is perhaps not intended. I mean, we always had 15 refrigerator slots as far as I can remember and now all of a sudden we have 150. It's only a zero more, Wally. You get the sarcasm, right? Maybe one of the developers added this zero by mistake. I actually think this is the case because this huge change is not even part of the patch notes. I double checked and I couldn't find anything. I think something so noticeable would make it to the patch notes if it was intended, right? Right? I, I think so, at least. It's 135 more slots players can use to store and preserve food, after all. Anyway, I added lots of foods to ensure this is not a visual bug, and as shown, I can go way beyond the old 15 slot limit. I also tested this change on my fridge, icebox and Nuka Cola freezer, and all of them share the same 150 slots. Everything looks in order, like it really was intended to be, 
But again, who knows? Only time will provide the answer, I suppose. A while ago, I talked about a mysterious shack in the mire at Berkeley, to be more exact. This shack was missing walls and the roof was obviously floating. It was an aberration defying gravity and many players wondered if Bethesda was working on this building, maybe to make something new for a future update, but apparently it was just a broken shack, was likely due to a bug. With update 26, this bug got fixed though, and the shack is now looking normal, back to its original appearance. I mean, it's still in ruins, but at least it's no longer floating. The inside items are still the same as before, with the weapons workbench, and some junk on a metal shelf. Thanks to Frin for leaving me a note about this one, otherwise I would probably have not noticed the change until this point. It's not like we go to Berkeley every day, especially to check this shack. Anyway, one less issue to fix, so that's always great. As I already pointed out in the first news, there was no inside the vault this week, which means there was no hotfix either. It's not clear if the sudden login issues and forced maintenance was due to an attempt to release a hotfix or not, but one thing is for sure, there was no patch, yet, which means the mannequin's statues remain the same. I know Bethesda said they were planning to address this issue in a couple of days, last Monday, May 3, but it doesn't seem like they will be able to handle the situation until next week. So be wary, use mannequins with caution, and please do not mess or try to glitch around with them, because as I explained in a recent video, that could generate corrupted data and create a vicious cycle of disconnects, rendering your character unplayable, basically. And I don't think you want that to happen, do you? Okay, now we have another wonderful news, treasure hunters are back after a long break, and this time their return will not be unnoticed. Why is that, you may ask? Well, that's because Bethesda added 6 new rewards with update 26, so from today, May 6, too many 6 already, until next Monday, May 10, you will be able to farm as many treasure hunters as you want in order to farm the new rewards. Feel free to check my farming guide featuring 10 of the best locations to farm them, as many as you want. Anyway, don't forget you can also craft pills once again while they are active. Now, back to the new rewards. If you missed my feature overview with 20 new free items, live with patch 26, well, that's okay. I'm about to show you what you can get with this edition of the Hunters. I'm also leaving the updated data mine cheat with the complete rewards pool and drop rates in case you want to check it out. So with patch 26, there are a few new rewards you can learn, starting with the Scorched Tube, a new misc structure item like the Super Mutant and Wendigo ones we already have in-game. Bethesda also added some new decor, such as this Balloon Arc and this Balloon Star Bouquet. There's even a new Nuka-Cola clock with neon lights. It's quite small though. To complete the decor additions, we have the Vault 76 rug, it's a pretty interesting design, quite colorful too. As for the last reward, we are getting a new weapon, a cursed rolling pin, which according to the data miner Garust comes with a nocturnal legendary effect, as well as power attack and strength. Well, I must say, I'm really impressed. What a great new weapon. It's perfect for scraping purposes at least. Ha! Got you there. It's definitely not a good melee weapon, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not sure who wants to use that, but at least some people can test it out because it's new. With new hunter rewards out of the way, let's get into the ongoing enemy spawn bug, which is causing a lot of gameplay disruptions. I mean, it depends a lot on the server, on my experience. On some servers, you will not face issues finding new enemies at all, but in other servers, well, it's quite problematic, especially in open world locations. At least most events seem to be running fine. I did several spawn-based events yesterday, such as Radiation Rumble, Line in the Sand and Guided Meditation, and enemies were spawning in mass, non-stop. Everything ran just as intended perfectly well. However, there are a few selected ones that are suffering massively, such as Tea Time. Enemies there hardly spawn, as shown here. 
the event ended and only seven or eight creatures spawned during the entire event. Another example is the daily Copa Squatter. Players often have issues completing it now because enemies simply do not spawn anymore. You can see the mission objectives with the yellow diamonds, but nothing else. They simply do not spawn no matter what you do. Best case scenario, you need to server jump and try in another location until they appear for you. Anyhow, I feel like the most concerning issue here is about open world locations. I often find popular spots empty, such as West Tech, Huntersville and the White Spring Golf Club. And sometimes there are no bodies, which means enemies are bugged, they are not spawning as intended. It's a shame, but all we can do is wait for a hotfix. Bethesda said a few hours ago that they are working on it. They also said this fix will come with a smaller patch later this month, together with other bug fixes. So sit tight and keep server jumping for the time being. That's the only way to bypass this issue, at least that I know of. Now, power armor issues have been a hot topic ever since update 26 went live. And that's because Bethesda kinda broke power armor, and no, I'm not talking about the Strangler Heart one, that one is just out of commission right now, this set effect doesn't even work, it's really really bad. Anyway, there is a recent bug where players get stuck in the power armor animation, either while entering or exiting it. This animation freeze will last about one minute until your power armor frame recalls into your inventory or alternatively, players can just restart the game. But according to a few reports, that's not wise to do because it could generate a lot of other bugs. It's like Inception, you know, you trigger a bug and then if you try to stop it, more bugs will follow. It's like a chain of bugs. I honestly don't use power armor often, so I had to enter and exit mine some 40 times before I actually got bugged. The things I do for you guys. Now, according to this player report, exiting the game while this bug is active could break your character. He didn't specify in which way, but I found another report with footage which clearly shows what can happen. In which ways can it break your character? And it's not pretty, guys. Basically, your character loses all sorts of item rendering. For starters, you are inside of power armor, as indicated by the power armor interface, but all you can see is your naked character, as if you were not inside power armor at all. Moreover, equipped gear will not render either, and you also lose your head in the literal sense. Well, at least jumping off cliffs will make you look like a superhero, with the power armor landing sounds and everything. Anyhow, this bug seems to be a rare one, the most common one is just the animation freeze, as I explained before. Meanwhile, Bethesda has already said they are working on a fix for this one as well, which will be part of the new patch, possibly coming later this month. More details to come in the next week. In one of my update 26 overviews, I explain how the new weapon sound bug works, but since this issue is happening more and more often, some of you guys have been asking me about it repeatedly, even in game. Well, this bug is now persistent since update 26 went live and it always happens after a player shoots a heavy spinning weapon, such as a minigun, ghost minigun or Gatling laser. Gatling plasmas sometimes do it too, but not always. Now, as long as the player is shooting the gun, the bug doesn't trigger, but when the player is just holding the gun after shooting, the bug triggers endlessly. I tested it today again with my ult, and these are basically the rules. Of course, the carrier cannot hear the bug, but other players do. A lot. In this case, I could only hear the bug noise from my alts account while my main was just chilling there, no sound whatsoever. Anyway, this bug is now happening all the time, especially in events where lots of players gather, such as Scorch Earth, a colossal problem and encrypted. It's a nightmare, I do not dare to even play the mess here, guys. In due respect to your ears, I, I respect them a lot, guys, I, I shall not do that. My best solution is to lower your volume to like 3 or 5%. I know it's unpleasant, you will not hear other players talking, for example. You might die because you didn't hear the rad's alert killing you, like it happened to me here. 
or if you forget to increase the sound, it's certain that in nuclear winter because you will not hear your enemy's footsteps and that normally is instant death. In this case it wasn't, but uh, I think the other guys here also suffered from the same issue because they did not hear me, I did not hear them, we basically face-checked one another. It was pretty funny. But yeah, there's a lot of inconvenient stuff that can happen when you play with basically no sound. But hey, I think it's better than the alternative. I really don't want my ears to bleed or something. As the last news, I selected this player's suggestion about creating a bank system, which would include currency storage with interest rates and even loans with penalties if players fail to pay back. I think it's time to develop the 76 economy and market systems. After all, people have already returned in flocks to Appalachia, but the economy stayed pretty much the same as before. It doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, this player went deep into the details and he even came up with different benefits for each faction bank. Pretty awesome. And some extreme penalties though, such as losing all your inventory gear if you don't pay back your debts. Oh lord, that's quite overboard to say the least. That would legit make players quit straight away if that happened. But overall, I think a bank system with an auction house and some loaning options would benefit everyone. What do you think about this though? Today's random bug is something that a lot of you surely noticed by now. Enemy bodies are bugging out so much lately. I've been finding random piles of loot here and there, in case you don't know why it happens. Well, it's when an enemy body doesn't despawn properly. The pile or body disappears, but the loot does not. Thus, why we see such piles? In this case, it was a Scorch Beast Queen body. Which clearly means bosses are not immune to this bug. Anyway, that's it for this one. Don't forget Bethesda is planning to release a new patch soon with several bug fixes. So stay tuned for more details. Now, good luck farming treasure hunters. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the content. Consider subscribing too if you are new around. And a huge thanks to all my dear supporters. You guys are amazing. That's it for now. I will see you all very, very soon in the next video. Until then, take care. Adios. Bye bye.